Uh, kabisa. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Thank you so much, Bishop and Mama. And through Bishop and Mama, the entire leadership of this church, it's such a great honor for me. Awesome privilege to finally, finally step in this church. As Bishop said, for the last eight years, I've been wanting to come and see just where my ladies came. And when they came back to our church, they were busy telling us, hey, they, are, they are very organized. They are very organized. And I can see you are very organized. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to thank Bishop Dr. Opio for making it possible through him to connect me to Bishop here and to be able to be part of this great, great, great work in Jesus' name. Doc, I'm so grateful. The good Lord bless you over and over. Amen. One of the things I am doing as I come here is I'm looking around. I look left, I look right, I look left again, and learning. And I want to assure you, God's people, you are doing a great work. The good Lord bless you. Amen. I say the good Lord bless you. Amen. Please help me tell your neighbor for me, thank you for your support. Keep it up. <laughs> now come on, shake their hand and tell them with real, real, real conviction. Tell them, keep it up. Come on, keep it up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The church is looking nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. You also are looking. Hallelujah. Help me tell your neighbor you're looking. Yes. Praise the Lord. Mm. I'm sure God willing one day when some of you will come to our church in Zambia, you'll be able to see, ah, Bishop copied that from uh, Zimmerman. I shall also put a timer on the wall there. If you find it there, you'll know, ah, he copied from Zimmerman. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We have been celebrating communion. As I was walking in, I found that we're remembering the death, burial, resurrection, and soon coming of our Lord and our Savior Christ Jesus. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ died for us in order to do many, many things. And these things are so numerous that you cannot count them. Now, one of the things that he did for us as he died on that cross of Calvary is, I want to use the language I'm going to use in this sermon, is to make us a marvel, to make us a wonder, to make us a spectacle. I am running out of English words. Another one? Special. To make us special, sir. Extraordinary. Clap for this man. Hallelujah. <laughs> one more word. Come, one more word. Peculiar, young lady. God bless you. And so, one of the things that he did was for us to become wonders. And in the last days, as we progress towards the coming of our Lord and our Savior, this aspect of us being marvels is going to become greater and greater and greater. We, by the grace of Almighty God, are going to become certain things. We are going to do certain things that will be a marvel. And a wonder to the people around us. I want to thank God that this spirit is already working here at this church. Because yesterday I had a friend of mine come to visit me. And then he looked at this church. Looked this way, looked that way. 
He said, I have been coming to Zimmerman all of these times. I have never known that there is such a church here. Ah, oh, because that grace is already working upon, amongst us here. And we are already doing marvels. We are already doing wonders. We are already making spectacles. And I am praying that by the time this message is over, by the grace of Almighty God, that spirit, that grace is going to increase upon each one of us in Jesus' name. Please turn to the book of Proverbs chapter 30. The book of Proverbs chapter 30 and 18 and 19. Book of Proverbs chapter 30 verse 18 and 19. I see it on our LED screens. And so, are we all there? If you're not there, let's read together at the count of three. One, two, three. There. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the preaching of his holy word this morning. Let's just look to God in prayer. Father, you who said that man shall not, cannot, will not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from your mouth. Father, now as this your word proceeds through clay lips and finite minds, may it please you, O oh Father, in your mercy and grace to cause it, O oh Father, to be bread indeed, life indeed, to every one of these your precious people, as their faces are different, even so are the needs. And so minister, O oh Father, to each one as each has need. Anoint now this your word, O oh Father, God, to the extension of your glorious kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me just begin by giving you a, just a quick background to this. This is an express service. By the way, that's the other thing I've learned here, the term express service. I'm going to have an express service also in Zambia. Time will not allow me to give a complete overview of the background and the exact meaning of this. But let me, for now, let it suffice for me just to say that imagine somebody taking a walk and then he sees four sights that amaze him. Four sights that make him look and say, how? Four sights that make him say, I have never seen. Four sights that make him say, mm, this is marvelous. And so the first thing that he sees is an ego in the air. And this ego is flying majestically. It is not flapping its wings. It's not kicking the legs and struggling. It is flying at peace. With the wind coming, it just moves this wing that way. It goes the other side, takes the wing up, and up it goes without any struggle whatsoever. And for the context of this message, the writer looks at this site and wonders, how is that ego doing what it is doing? The ego is a very heavy bird. How is it overcoming gravity? How is it overcoming the drag? How is it overcoming its weight? And to fly effortlessly in the air. And again he asks the question, how? And then from the air, he goes into the mountains. And there again he beholds another confusing sight. He sees a serpent with no legs. Climbing a rock in a very swift manner. Now, for those of you who remember some of your physics, some people when they stop school and come in church, they say, thank God I am delivered from mathematics and science. <laughs> I have bad news for you because the science and mathematics are following you to church, especially today. <laughs> Let me use a term from science, the coefficient of static friction. 
between the stomach of the snake and the surface of the rock is zero. In short, there is no grip. With no grip, it is able to move twa, 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 right up to the top and the man looks and says, how? How is that serpent moving? Let me go ahead of myself. By the grace of Almighty God, may God cause you to move in a similar manner. Hey! And then thirdly, a ship is moving on top of the water, buffeted by a big sea. Somehow or other, it remains on top of the water. It doesn't sink until it finally gets to its destination. Now, some of you may not know, but these old ships used to have what is called a sail. Now, it is a wind can be coming this way, right? And ordinarily, wind which is coming this way is supposed to blow the ship backwards. But it is possible to set the sail at such an angle that despite the wind coming this way, the ship shall still be moving forward. <laughs> May that be your portion in Jesus' name. Now, the last one, the way of a man with a maid, people in love, that one has no scientific laws. <laughs> the chemistry, the mathematics, the physics of how people behave when they're in love has no law. So I will not attempt to go there today. I will leave that for the couple's fellowship. But I can tell you that even when people are in love, all of a sudden, even people who are ordinarily impatient, suddenly they become very patient. They become very patient. I can under tell you, a man can be the army commander of the Kenya Defense Forces, who can just, by the word of his mouth, bring the whole Nairobi to nothing with his mouth. I can tell you that this law of the way of a man with a maid, he can be married to a girl born in 1990, and she can hold the entire army commander by his nose. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That is for another day. <laughs> so I will not attempt to go that way. Let me simply look at the motion of these first three things. And by the grace of Almighty God, hope that we can apply them to you and to me and cause us to become better and more effective Christians. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so, number one, I'm going to define a wonder. And thank God we've already done it. He says, these ways are too wonderful for me. Verse 18, sir. Too amazing for me. Too beyond me. Too wonderful for me. Too amazing for me. And dearly beloved, that is the definition of a wonder this morning. Is that things that boggle our mind. Things that we cannot ordinarily explain. Dearly beloved, the Bible says the wind blows where it wants. You can only hear the sound thereof, but you cannot tell where it is coming from or where it is going. And may that be a description of you and me, that people shall only be able to see the effect, but not know the cause. They will see the wind, the, the leaves ruffling, and will not know what is causing it. May God lift you, may God lift me to such a level, dearly beloved, that people everywhere shall be asking, how are you doing it? I speak to every businessman here. Dearly beloved, may you grow in your business in such a way that everybody shall be asking, how? How are you doing this? For those of us who are married, may your relationship between husband and wife become so nice and so cordial that the people around you shall wonder and ask, how are people doing it? And whatever area I may have missed out, but God is speaking to you, those of you who are in academics, you are at school. May God increase your intellectual ability. Cornerstone Academy. May you produce the best students in Kenya. Come on, somebody. 
and may you begin to do so well that people around you are going to wonder how are you doing it? How are you moving? I prophesy by God's grace upon this church. Already it is a wonder. May God make you even more of a wonder. May God lift you higher and higher. In Jesus' mighty name. They shall ask you how. How are you doing what you are doing? And so please help me make sure that the person next to you shall remember what I was saying. Please tell them for me, they shall ask you how. <laughs> tell their neighbor on your left. They shall ask you how. Ah, now you are doing it in too gently. Let me, apart from the high table here, let me request you to stand, please, and tell five people they shall ask you how. How, 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 how. How? Over your business. Over your relationship. Over your relationship. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Over everything that you do. Over everything that you say. May the how be the question. How are you growing? How are you moving? How are you excelling? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. I come from the land of Zambia. One of the things we are famous for as Zambia is what is called the mighty Victoria Falls. How many of you have seen the Victoria Falls in here? No, you come to Zambia. Hey. That is Zambia. People travel from China. They travel from America. They travel from Australia, from all over the world to come to Zambia. For no other reason but just to see the Victoria Falls. Everywhere. There is an international airport. There are planes come every day bringing people to see one of the seven wonders of the world. That wonder being the mighty Victoria Falls. I am giving you that testimony to liken it to you. As God will do whatever he will do, may people come from everywhere. May people come from every place on this earth to Zimmerman. Hey! Not dearly beloved anywhere else but to Zimmerman to come and see what the Lord has done for me. I cannot what the Lord has. Don't know that song. I come and see you. Come and see you. Come and They shall come from all over to come and behold what the good Lord has done. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. As these people come to the Victoria Falls, I want you to know, beloved, I've read it just there, that some of them come as atheists. Atheists are people who say there is no God. They come and see the Victoria Falls coming as people who do not believe in God. After they see the Victoria Falls, many of them kneel down and say, now I believe there is a God in heaven. And in exactly the same way, may God do beyond your ability. May God make you beyond any imagination that when your father looks at you, when your wife looks at you, Whenever anybody looks at you, they shall be able to say, ah, ah, you can't do this yourself. No, you can't make it this way yourself. It has to be the hand of Almighty God. May that be your portion in Jesus' name. May God lift you. May God make you in such a way that there shall be no question. There shall be no doubt that this here is the work of Almighty God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. May God make you a wonder of Jesus Christ. 
Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now let me just quickly continue now. Number one, you will notice that there are certain things that are common to all of these three things. Number one, each of them has a territory. The territory of the ego is the air. The territory of the serpent is the rock. The territory of the ship is the water, the sea. Each one of them have their territory. And in exactly the same way as I look at you, some of you, your territory is accountancy. Some of you, your territory is engineering. Some of you is business. Some of you is housewife. But we have all kinds of territories here. Uh-huh. Some of us is ministry. Others it is, I don't know what it is. Others it is farming. But each one of us have a territory. Now, as these things move in their territory, there is no struggle. There is no kicking. There is no pushing. They are moving easily, efficiently, and quickly in their territory. And by that, I'm bringing it to you that whatever your area of human endeavor is, may God make you nga, 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 nga. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are a cook, may God make you the best cook that there is here in Zimmerman. If you are a mathematician, may God make you such a mathematician that Kenya has never seen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. I am an engineer by background. And so I like mathematics and what not, but you get bored of me. I shall be saying it every other minute. Now, some of you young people do not like mathematics and science. I am praying that there shall be a turn around over you after this service. Right now, in mathematics, you are getting marks less than your age. <laughs> and you are only 15 years old. 14%, 12%, 10.5%. May that day come to an end today in Jesus' name. Whatever is your territory, may God accelerate your thinking, may God accelerate your brain, that you shall become a wonder in your territory. You shall become a, I've remembered a Swahili word, you shall become a fundi. Ah. Am I right? May you become a fundi in mathematics. May you become a fundi in business. May you become a fundi in medicine. Whatever is your territory, no more struggling, no more pumping. You are going to become better and better and better and better and better. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Please don't get tired. Stand to your feet and tell five people, may God make you better and better and better and better in your territory. Glory be to Jesus. 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 May you become a better singer. May you become a better keyboard player. May God make you a better drummer. May God make you a better hair salonist. Whatever your territory, I decree excellence upon your life. I declare that you shall be a wonder, dearly beloved. People shall ask you how. In the name of Jesus. Here in Zimmerman. Thou shalt be a wonder my son and my daughter. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Please be seated. Not only do these things have their own territory. Not only are they effective in their territory. Let me use this English word. They are not moving in familiar territory. What's the most common road here in uh, Nairobi Street? Sorry? Moi. Moi Avenue. They are not in Moi Avenue. Another famous road. They are not in Kenyatta Drive. One more. They are not on Fika Road. Give me a rural area, very deep rural area. Gigopa. Gopa. Sweetheart, they are in Gopa. Uh-huh. Another one. Another far place in Kenya. Okay. 
They are, oh, Kisumu is big. Kisumu is big. I want a small one. Shangombo. Shamagogo. They are in Shamagogo. They are not where everybody is. While everybody is fighting to be in Kenyatta Drive, while everybody is squeezing to be in Moi Drive, they are in Shamagogo, they are in Mount Meru, they are in Mount Kenya, they are in Dubai, they are in Pakistan, they are everywhere. Glory be to Jesus. They are not in familiar territory. They are in unfamiliar territory. Glory be to Jesus. Some of us on our national registration cards, is that what you call them here? For city national registration card. National identification card. Some of us, when we look at our national identification card, it shall say, place of birth, Zimmerman, Nairobi, Kenya. Place of primary education, Zimmerman Primary School, Zimmerman, Nairobi, Kenya. Place of secondary school education, Zimmerman Secondary School, Kasarani, Kenya. Place of university, Zimmerman University, Zimmerman. Place of marriage, Zimmerman the Francis Church. Place of first employer, Zimmerman Meeting Company. Place of final sickness and death, Zimmerman Hospital. Place of burial, Zimmerman Cemetery. That shall not be your case in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah! You are breaking beyond the barriers of Zimmerman. You are breaking beyond the barriers of Kenya. I said you are breaking beyond the barriers of Kenya, Africa. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! In fact, I encourage you, if you don't have a passport tomorrow, go to the passport office and get a passport because you are going into the air. You are going into the rock. You are going in the water. You are breaking familiar territory. Somebody say, yeah. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't get tired, please. I want us to do some prophetic action. Stand to your feet and tell five people, see you in Johannesburg, see you in London, see you in New York, see you in Peking. Come on, somebody. It may look like it is a joke, but it is a serious business. You are getting out of familiar water. You are getting out of the place you have known all your life. And God, by his grace, is lifting you to go where you have never gone, to do what you have never done, to be what you have never done, you shall become a wonder, a wonder from Zimmerman, not a local wonder, but a cosmopolitan wonder. Receive that grace in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, glory, 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 glory. You are going to go where your father never went. You are going to do what your mother never did. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. In short, all of these things are moving. The ego is flying. The ship is sailing. I want to test your English. The snake is what? Another word. Who said slithering? Come, hi, mama, please come. Even in Kenya, you know English. Just clap for mama here. <laughs> the snake is slithering. May you fly in the air. May you sail in the water. May you slither everywhere until you break every boundary, until you break every limitation. Go where you have never gone. Do what you have never done. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Every one of these are in motion. You shall be in motion. No more stagnation. Anything that stagnated you is broken as I preach right now. Glory be to Jesus. 
a scientist called Newton, as I begin to close, gave us a law of motion that goes like this. This pulpit is going to remain in this position today, tomorrow, and the other day. Unless it is acted upon by an external force to change its position. Or it is moving at a certain direction at the same speed. To change the direction, to change the speed, an external force is required. And so dearly beloved, in case you have been in one position from yesterday and today, may I declare today in Jesus' name, that is the last day. You are changing position. I said you are changing position. You are going to start moving my son and my daughter. Hallelujah. In fact, just here, let me just do some prophetic action. Just change position, sit on another seat. Next to you, just exchange the next person to you. Signifying you are moving, my sweetheart. My son, you are moving. You are not remaining where you have been. In the name of Jesus Christ. If they come to look for you, where they saw you yesterday, they are not going to find you. They shall say, he is not in the grave. He is not in the tomb. He has risen. He has left this territory. And he has gone to another territory. Come on, receive that grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. May God make you a wonder. May God make you a wonder. May God make your family a wonder. In the name of Jesus. Whoa. Hallelujah. The truth of the matter is this. There are some places you cannot go. By waters you have to fly. Like an eagle. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There are some places you cannot fly. You have to get into the ship and sail. Hallelujah. And there are some places because it is a rock. You have to do what? Oh man, may that come to pass to you in the name of Jesus. Let's give the Lord praise. Whoa. Now tell your neighbor, neighbor, my life, my life will never, ever be the same again in Jesus' name. Now look at five people. Tell them you are my witness. Go to five people, tell them, you are my witness. You are my witness. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are my witness. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. See you in New York. See you in Dubai. Whoa! Now encourage your neighbor. You know it's going to be practical. Muulize uko na passport. Muulize tu uko na passport. Nimekwambia tuonane New York uko na passport. Akisema ana, mwambie kesho. Kesho, apply passport. Let's give the Lord praise again for the servant of the Lord who has ministered to us so powerfully. Hey, mimi nimeona, nimekuwa nikishindwa na tumulima tumulima. Kumbe ninajaribu kupanda na miguu. Sasa nimejua kitu ni bas.